Okay, so something else we're going to do here is we've taken note of that the crankshaft took a bit to try and, you know, rotate. And now that the engine is no longer having any other, anything else as far as rotating assemblies, we're going to set this up. I got it at 20 foot pound right here. And we're going to set it up to where, get this thing plugged in there. We're going to go over there and rotate the crankshaft. We're going to try and do this one-handed here. It's going to be a, a fun trip. Okay, there it is. Okay, you're on it. And it's, it's still, hopefully it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. Okay, you ready? Okay, so here we go. It's already over 20 foot-pounds. Now we're starting to turn the engine, and what this will do is it'll measure, it'll retain how much it really took. It says here 38 foot-pound to rotate that engine. And that's cold, nothing on it. Um, where yesterday I did this, it was it showed it to be a 40 foot-pound. Um, so I believe it takes a lot more effort to rotate that, that engine assembly, and this thing's already got almost 1,400 miles of uh, braking on it, so it really shouldn't. I don't believe it should should take that much to rot just to turn the uh, the engine over itself. I mean that's no no torque converter, it's no belt, all the spark plugs are out. There's no reason. So, anyways, thought I'd capture that bit, add that to it.